Hi, Pisces. I'm loving sitting with your energy for this month. It's a good time. There's some very rich depth to October for Pisces and a very supportive energy for you. Um, though the way that it gets delivered is really interesting. If you're a Pisces rising, especially this will be true, but I do find that even with sun, these house placements do work with you in a really interesting way. So Libra energy is very eighth house, right? It's the transformative energy for Pisces. So it, it's kind of like going through some very divine waters and coming out kind of baptized in the new for you in whatever that is and then moving into Scorpio season fellow water sign and getting those big visions and actually the vision I had for you was a flower opening um, uh, a flowering of your vision of, of work from the deep internal to the external to the seeing to the clarity of vision that is the imagery that I got for Pisces as soon as I tapped into you guys it was like whoa okay so Yes, at the beginning of the month, there is this kind of deep internalization. Maybe even some low life force kind of energy where you're checking in. You're doing a little bit of rearranging in there with that Libra and energy. But as the month moves on and more and more energy pours into Scorpio, which it will be, your vision gets clearer and clearer. And the thing with October on the collective level is that this is a month of clarity and communication. It is a month where things aren't meant to be muddled. They are actually very crisp. Um, there's this, this, the way that it feels is just very impactful. Uh, the, the answers are just strong. You know, there isn't a lot of wishy-washy energy here. And I've been explaining that to every sign because it's a quality of energy that's just there. It's just like in your, you know, when you look at October, you feel through October, it's just there. Um, there's a lot of things going on. Pluto's going direct in Capricorn, your 11th house. Very good for the moon. Very good for moving forward with any of those things you have been working on internally behind the scenes. Page of Swords. That's the perfect internal moon world to external communication, right? perfect for Pisces this month. But as, you know, even in Libra season, energy's starting to flow into Scorpio. Mercury enters Scorpio the same day as Pluto goes direct. So <laughs> these very investigative energies are like, boom, here we are. We're ready. We're ready to have some answers. We're ready to have some clarity. Let's get in there and let's make some things happen. Let's get some things moving. Now, Mercury is also going to be starting the pre-shadow phase of its retrograde which will, in Scorpio, which will start on October 31st, right on Halloween, right on message. Um, so no, October is going to be about starting to assess, starting to go over details. Um, for you, that's in your ninth house of this big vision, but you're getting a clarity of vision. Page of Cups, love it. Loving these pages. See that clarity, that in information, King of Wands. We have Venus moving into Scorpio as well on the 8th. We have a full moon in Aries in your second house of value on the 13th. That moon is always impactful. That's the word. Um, the Aries full moon is, is a big one every year. I think it, it's one of those ones where the, the intensity of it, because that cardinal fire energy on the moon is just really intense. So <clears throat> a lot of times we'll see very clearly at that time. Um, and as we get into Scorpio season on the 23rd, and as we have the new moon in Scorpio on the 27th, and then the Mercury retrograde begins, we're really starting to dive into what is really true. Ace of Cups, loving it. What is really true? You know, the Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, which we will talk about more in November, Ten of Cups, is not going to be interested in BS at all. You know, Scorpio doesn't like BS. We all know this. And Mercury, the investigative communicator, going over details, Two of Pentacles, is not looking for that either, right? So October's, we're already getting that flavor of that energy. But for you, this is about, you know, using all those gifts you have been developing internally 
and putting them out into the world. Three of Pentacles. Okay, let's talk through these cards. There's a lot of really good energy here, Pisces. I have to say, I am really loving what you got going on. And like I said, when I looked at October, despite the fact that we're going through eight ho eighth house transits with you guys, and, and it is a time for you to be reacquainted with a new version of yourself and to kind of go through those cleansing waters and come back into some other form. I think for you, that's very, it flows with you very well. You work well with that energy. And then it goes right into Scorpio, which is very good energy for you, extremely supportive of your growth and of your path. So you're being asked as this month elapses to be more and more seen and to be more and more visible in how you are showing up to your world. Whenever the moon begins a conversation, right, it means we are tapping into something that's very personal, very private, very much something that we keep in our internal world. Um, we are tapping into our motive, personal space. Um, and that means that this is something that we're needing to bring forward, bring up, connect in with. Um, and a lot of times I notice the moon shows up when we have something that we have to share that feels like it is a little scary to share because it's a part of this landscape. And you can get stuck in moon, right? It can get addictive. Moon energy is super addictive. You know, going, you know, going home every day and just like diving deep and staying out in those waters. It's so addicting. It's so beautiful out there in the dreamy landscape of the emotive, right? Like we can all get a little addicted to that. There's a point though when we have to flip back into this world here. And that's where all this these pages and this king are coming in, page of swords, page of cups, king of wands. Now, maybe you have a lot of person, people around you, which Pisces, I feel like that happens a lot. It's like, <laughs> you're over here trying to like come up with some beautiful concoctions and everybody's like, hey, <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Want to hang out? Let's go do something. What are you doing? Do you want to do this? Do you want to change in this way? Do you want to grow here? Um, and there's a lot of energy coming at you, right? A lot of energy coming at you. And that could be true that you know, there's a magnetism to this type of energy that can be very much alluring to other energies, right? But if we take a little bit of a deeper look at this conversation, we take a little bit of a deeper look at what these energies are telling me and what they are conversing, what they're putting into the conversation. Pages always bring news. They bring opportunity. And generally, they're, they're positive, right? Page of Swords particularly is clarity on something that hasn't made sense for a little while. Just cutting to the chase. Not, you know, like no nuance here. It's a lot more like, let's just get in there and say it. Just have it out. And it feels to me like there's something that you've been holding. You haven't known how to express it, whether that's to a specific person or to in to yourself or to into a project where it's like you haven't been feeling like you could express it. Well, these pages are telling me it's time to like speak, express, share, be connective. This month is very important for us to connect those dots. This is a month about connectivity at a very deep level and we need to have those connective conversations. And for you, whatever you've been suppressing, whatever you felt like you've had to suppress or you haven't been able to honor, it is coming up whether you like it or not. Now I have a feeling this King of Wands has a lot to do with that. You know, sometimes, you know, King of Wands is a bit of a stubborn, stuck energy. It can be a little bit like I'm just doing it the way I want to do it. So it can feel intimidating to bring tender internal things to this energy because they're kind of just doing their thing. They can be stubborn, like I said. However, when we assume that we know what people want to hear or need to hear in life and we assume we already know how they feel about something when we assume the external world in general this the king of wands can just represent society at large depending on what is coming up for you pisces this month we assume what we know what the world wants from us we assume we know how it wants us to perform how it wants us to suppress or express we are we are taking a pretty bold stance, aren't we, in our ability to know everything. And a lot of times we're wrong. 
we're just wrong. We just don't actually know all the levels of somebody and what they're actually needing in life. And the only way we're going to know is if we express what we need and we allow that person or that scenario or that situation or the world at large or the interactive world of being here now in the present to bring that information back to us. And that is really needed here. There is a call for connectivity. And here's the thing, it is vulnerable. Pisces, I mean, in many ways, you are very vulnerable, loving, emotive people, right? You have the ability to feel through all of that and to express and be very empathic. However, you also have this spiky side that you've developed to survive. And you guys are very good with your spiky side. And that spiky side makes it very hard for you to be vulnerable, actually. You've had to develop it because of your placement within all of this energy. Having such an openness really messes, you know, it's hard to be down here. So you've come up with your nice little crab shells and your things like that, where vulnerability is actually quite hard for Pisces many times. True vulnerability. We're not talking about, like you know, just enjoy with people you already feel safe with or, you know, having emotions. It's like those things that really matter. However, there's a big payoff for you here in opening and softening and not assuming that you already know what somebody's going to react to your moon energy, right? Because look what comes from that honesty. Ace of cups and 10 of cups. Are you kidding me? This is the reward, right? This is, this is what comes of authentically sharing of ourselves and not suppressing everything. When we suppress, we actually empty out our own cup. We suppress, we say, I'm not worth actually expressing what I want or need. I'm not worth even like saying it to myself. Do you ever find that? Have you ever written a love letter to yourself? Sounds easy, right? Sit down and do it. <laughs> um, if you practice it, you get a lot better at it. But the first time, most of the time is it's a little it's a little like oh I don't know how to do this. The more we allow ourselves to bubble up the flowering of that vision that I see for you Pisces, the more we are met by that same quality of energy. Now not everybody deserves our full-fledged vulnerability. The people who have been avoidant, who don't really text us back, who don't give us the time of day, yeah, those people you could be as vulnerable as you want to be. You could you could put your soul out there and their own process, their own process. But for those people who have been consistent with you and who obviously care about you, when you share of your hidden side, beautiful things happen. Not only do you understand yourself more, but you actually get the real information about what that person wants or needs as well, not just what you concocted in your mind. And this is a big time of going deeper in relationships for you, of actually getting to a deeper, better level. For those of you who've been in crappy situations that haven't been serving you, you're going to be noticing that you're meeting more authentically driven people. For those of you in relationships or in deep things, you're going deeper. And it doesn't have to be just romance. This can also be about your friendships and your family members. It can be about your coworkers as well because the final two cards we have are two of pentacles and three of pentacles. It's interesting. That two of pentacles is that indecisiveness. It's like, I'm not sure I'm allowed to share. And once again, whatever this moon is representing is something very tender to you. Something very hard for you to share. And this two of pentacles can be that uncertainty. It's like when you are really nervous, like you want to keep equilibrium in the world. And so you feel like you have to wear the mask. You have to juggle it all. That's not your job. Your job is not to make everybody else comfortable all the time because you're not ever going to do it, right? So you have to make the choice within the two of pentacles that feels real for you. You know, you have to go with what feels right for you. The thing is, the reward there is flow. Two, two is like division, right? Three is the number of creative balance. Moving forward, being able to actually build something in the real world. Let me pull a final card from my Cosmic Tarot for this reading today. Woo, you guys have some things you need to get off your chest. <laughs> you have some things that you need to share. Um, like I said, you know, be aware. You know, it's it's not about just running around having to, like, sacrifice, sacrificially be vulnerable to people all the time. It's, it's, it's really about the right place, right, you know, you know when it's the right thing, death. 
we are in a transformative time for you Pisces. This time of year is will always be a time of year where you feel the transformation pretty deeply. Um, where you check in with anything that's not serving you and you check in with what is. Um, I love this, this artwork for the Death card in the Cosmic Tarot. It is just so beautiful with that sunrise behind him. You know, this is kind of a badass energy, right? It's like you know, coming through and clarifying the vision, clarifying the path. And yeah, you don't, when you're vulnerable and when you actually share what you want, you don't get to hide behind any old narratives at that point. And so there is like kind of, you know, he has his scythe, you know, the harvesting, the scything away. It's, you know, you feel the exposure. It's a surrender to the universe in a way that is, it, it can be hard. And honestly, Pisces, like, yeah, you know, I know you guys feel things and I know you're very connected, but you're also really resistant to your own connectivity at times because it's scary. So you're getting asked to be seen and sh shown and to share what you really want. Not just what you think people want, but what you really want. To share who you really are, not just who you think people expect you to be, but who you really are. To share who you are without all your passed down lineage trauma. Who are you really without that worry, without that concern? How would you act? How would you speak? If you didn't have, you know, ancestral trauma, like example for me is, you know, I have um, very poor immigrant family on one side that were always worried about fitting in and being judged. And, I, you know, that got passed down through to me. You know, it's really subtle, but it's like that worry about being judged, that worried about doing something wrong because it was a matter of life and death a couple of hundred years ago. It was a matter of like, you're not going to make it through if you don't keep it together, you know, and it's like that, but that is in mind to carry, right? So how will I act if I'm not carrying my great grandmother's fears of her survival and safety, right? Same question goes for you. And this is a powerful time for all of that. And so you may be noticing, parsing out the difference between what you're doing because you think you're supposed to, or because it's been kind of ingrained and in what you're doing, because it really feels like you, you have a desire to be seen and loved and held the way that you are. And it's okay to want that. And it's okay to share that with somebody who even seems kind of stubborn or in their own world. They probably just don't even know what's going on with you. They probably have no idea. You know, there's no way that they can already know that because you guys are pretty good at keeping your secrets. So Something to keep in mind. Big challenge this month, right? I'm so excited, you all, because I released my Patreon where I'm going to be doing all my extras. It's going to be a great place. So one tier, you know, you sign up, you get access to all of it. So I'm going to be doing everything to do with the extra transit. So Jupiter moving into Capricorn at the end of the year, Pluto going direct in October. I'm going to do a video on Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, which I think will be so powerful. There will be weekly astrology write-ups so that you get a feel for what the week ahead is going to be and how to work with the energy. And also, I'm so excited, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos about my personal journey and how I've dealt with all sorts of things in life and tips and tricks, favorite books, all of those good things. So lots of extra material. I hope you'll go and join me. Um, like I said, there's going to be new material every single week. So it's, it's a really great value, uh, I think, for what you get. And also, you get to hang out with me more. And I, I love hanging out with you guys. Also, I have a handful of sessions left for 2019 on my one-on-one -on -one reading calendar. So if you're wanting a session with me, highly recommend popping over to my website and jumping on my calendar while those sessions are still available. I will leave all of my link description, uh, link for all of this stuff in the description box ready to click on so you can just hop on over. You can also find me on Instagram at Sarah Verba. I would love to see you there. I'm wearing pink Loon as always. She's got beautiful stones for your altar, all sorts of beautiful things in her shop, so go check her out. I will see you for more Moon Magics and for more monthly readings next month. Have a beautiful month, my gorgeous Pisces. I love you so much.